Yo, what up, it's Dom. Samuel Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. How you guys doing? Back up in it. Little review on a brand new Adidas shoe, uh, the Solar Boost. Um, and man, let's get right into it. Uh, this traction, you very well may have recognized this traction before. Uh, this outsole is basically what's in a, a Ultra Boost. And uh, it's pretty much the same. But if it's anything like the Ultra Boost, it's probably not going to be too durable, right? No. Right? It'll probably... It's continental rubber, but yeah. you know. Uh, Adidas wants you to buy more of their shit. Yeah. You know, so. Um, um, anyway, sitting right on top of that is a torsion system. Um, obviously, if you're going to be doing some running, that's what this shoe is for. Uh, you got this little bit of a shank plate system, and it's, they got these things called, uh, I think they're calling them solar rails. So the stable frame torsion system kind of comes up around the side, up into the toe area a little bit. Um, I guess that's going to give you a little bit more support, maybe a little more uh, recoil on, on runs. Yeah, so like... If you go like, if you bend it like this, it'll come back. You yep. because like boost can deform. I don't know about like I, I mean foam can deform, but I don't really know about boost. But yeah. like, you want it to like come back. You know, you don't want it to just like stay like this. You know? Yeah. Um. But uh, anyways, let's get into the real reason why you clicked on this, and that is the boost. How does yeah. that boost feel? It does look very similar to the ultra boost, and, like yeah. just like how it looks and the thickness and stuff. Besides the foam on top. But uh, how does it feel? It feels nice. It feels super it's nice. It's crazy pillowy. I mean, you feel like you're just, uh, it, it's it's, it's uh, firmer than the Ultra Boost, um, but it, uh, it's it got a nice impact protection. Yeah. You know, just, you feel like you got a nice ride going, really pillowy, similar to the EQT Boost. Um, very, very thick feeling and chunky. And of course, if you remove the insole, you guys can see the struggle board and it's the uh, panted Ultra Boost struggle board where yeah. it has like, you know, holes in it. Yep. So it's not it's not a stiff struggle board at all. Your foot is actually really like right on top of Boost. Yeah, you also have this thick foam uh, insole, Whoa, yeah, insole actually, which is pretty thick and also doing something uh, it says, with the cushion. Yeah, it says what? Four to six millimeters or yeah. mm? Is that is that what six it's saying? Millimeter. Four to six millimeters, right? Yeah. Or is just is that just or maybe six millimeters thick? Yeah, I that's think pretty it's just, damn thick. Yeah, right? it's it's thick and, and, and it, you know you can feel it in the cushion. Yeah. Um, just gives it a lot more of a pillowy vibe. Plus, you have some a uh, little bit of caging for stability going on on both the medial and lateral side. It's like this foam, this colored stuff. It looks like it's TPU, which is what this is. This heel counter but it's not it's foam um, and the foam is a lie it's not really like underneath your foot that's no. what I thought you know because like I thought it was the boost and then the foam to maybe like you know make yeah. it make the cushion a little bit more responsive for the, the runners but it's actually your foot's really like right on top of that boost right I guess it's just kind of caging you in yeah. on the sides just a little bit I guess that's because like I mean, the ultra boost has the cage yeah um, but so casually, very comfortable, right? Super comfortable. And uh, one of the most boostiest boosts for sure. Boost Adidas uh, has to offer. Yeah. Okay. Definitely up there. What uh, about with the for, Ultra Boost and the EQT Boost? Okay, but what about for running? For running, it's nice. I mean, uh, to be honest, the Ultra Boost, my Ultra Boosts are like a little too squishy for running. Mm -hmm. uh, my heel kind of gets way into the bottom of the boost um, pretty easily. This that that's not the case. Especially if you're a bigger guy, or you're heavier, you know, you're not really going to be sinking into the boost that much. So, you know, for long distances, if you like a lot of cushion in, in your long distance running, which a lot of people don't, but if you do, it's, this is super nice. Um, so uh, moving on to the upper, uh, the toe reminds me a lot of uh, what they were doing in the Pure Boost. The original uh, one, The right? original Pure Boost. Yeah. It's like a thin, feels like a jersey. Um, Material, you know what I mean? It, it, they're calling it a stretch mesh, um, but they do overlay it a little bit, which I like with these uh, little rubber strand lines, and that does help you keep your toes in a little bit, so you're not just like you know your two your toes just poking yeah. out of the footbed like they used to be in the pure boost. Yeah, like kind of restricts the stretch yeah. a little bit, right? So that's nice. And then in the midfoot, you have a, a, a lot thicker material, which looks like a knitted like nylon string type of vibe. Um, it's not a prime knit. So, uh, but you know, it's not bad. It's super, super supportive and super strong. Uh, so that's good. You have a nice long heel pull tab, which Adidas does really well. Yep. So it's super easy to slide it in, take your foot out. 
Um, you do have like a little bit of a half tongue. Other than that, you have this uh, mesh stuff that comes up and wraps around your foot. The tongue is uh, slightly padded too. Yeah, there's a little padding on the tongue, which yeah. is nice. Um, and it's pretty thin, it's not super thick or anything. Uh, uh, so materials are, you know, they're not bad. Nice on foot? Super nice on foot. Uh, how's that stretch though? It's not like too stretchy or anything? No, it's not too stretchy okay. like the pure, like the pure boost was, which okay. I actually didn't like how stretchy that was. This feels like a nice little stretch, you know, like yeah, not is. too much. Um, it but is. in hand though, like just actually feeling, it doesn't feel like the most premium material, but no. I guess like on foot it feels nice and yeah. it's on foot and it feels nice. That's yeah. good for me, you know? Yeah, for sure. All right, moving on to the fit, true to size. Uh, true to your Adidas size, you know how it goes, Adidas, they, they run long. So I went down a full size because I got that Earthworm Gym foot. Um, so, you know, and, and it was good. It does run a little bit narrow, not crazy, crazy narrow. So, um... Is there a lot of dead space though? It feels like there's a little bit of dead space right here, no? Uh, not really. Not really? No, it kind of wraps around your foot pretty nicely. Um, okay. didn't really notice any, any dead space and fit was, fit, fit was really good. Yeah, support and lockdown, uh, for running, it's great, I mean... You get this little bit of caging in the midfoot, which is going to hold you down a little bit, but you don't get too much of it in your toes, so you get some comfortability up, up front. Um, so stability, you know, it's great. If, you know, the shoes for running in a straight line, that's what you're going to be doing. It, it's good. And obviously for casual use, that's really not a concern. Let's weigh these things. All right. 12.35 ounces. Very light for Donnie Boy's shoe. Yeah, very light for me. I'm not the lightest. Of, of my runners, obviously if it's a basketball shoe that'd be stupid light, but you know some of my runners like the Lunar Epics and the uh, Epic Reacts are stupid light, so they're not that light, but it's still pretty light. Yes. Uh, Boost is uh, notoriously a little bit heavy, so um, so there's that. Uh, durability should also be very good, aside from you the know outsole. the outsole, Ultra Boost outsoles don't really last forever um, by a long shot, so that's the only real concern. Everything else seems pretty pretty decent. Yes. Um, Aesthetics, eh. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't find myself, you know, like going out with these, you know, in jeans and stuff like that. But I, I would see myself like working out or running in these. You yeah. Know, it's more of like a running work it, work, workout shoe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it seems to me more like a shoe. Like if I saw someone rocking it like on a run, I'm like, oh, that's a, you know, it's a good cool. running shoe. Yeah. It's a nice running shoe. But Looks dope, yeah. it, it's not an ultra boost aesthetically, yeah. let's be honest. But um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, ventilation is good. Uh, no, no issues there. The stretch mesh in the toe is actually pretty breathable, so that's nice. Um, wrapping things up, that price is kind of, kind of kind of expensive. One sixty. I kind of understand Adidas though, because like you know, it's basically the Ultra Boost boost, right? Mm -hmm. And then you know, if they you reduce the price a little bit more, why would you get the Ultra Boost if you can just get this, yeah. right? So I kind of understand uh, from Adidas standpoint, but it's still like pretty damn expensive, especially because Nike has been, you know, releasing some fire runners, you know, like the Pegasus 35, the Epic Reacts. I mean, the Epic Reacts are only 150. Yeah, Zoom Flies, they're all very good runners and very comfortable, casual use also. So um, it is a little pricey, but it's super comfortable. Super comfortable. Um, you know, for a long run, I definitely recommend them if you're into cushion. Uh, but if you want something more minimal, I wouldn't. Just for casual use, if you like them aesthetically, cop them. Um, but I do think they're a little bit expensive. You know, Boost, in its earlier years, I mean, I guess they can get away with that back then, but now, I, I don't know. I don't yeah, think I they can like, charge that much just because there's Boost on it. I feel like, why not just pay the extra 20 bucks, get the Ultra Boost, for sure. you know, aesthetically, it looks a little bit better. You can also do runs and work out in them and use it for casual use, yeah. right? Um, so I don't really understand the standpoint of this. Maybe Adidas just wants to make like a cheaper Ultra Boost kind of a little bit, but you yeah. know, but mainly for running. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, if you guys want to cop a pair of these, we will leave a, the link in the description box below. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.